I am really excited for the future of Duma OS. NetDuma has finally begun overhauling all of its major systems, starting with quality of service. I've been beta testing this new quality of service system for a little while now, and it is mind-blowingly good. It is game-changing. It takes all of the guesswork out of setting up quality of service. For anybody who's messed around with Duma OS or really any quality of service, you know that eh, it could be hit and miss. You can set everything up, everything feels great, play some games, you're happy, things are fun, and then you go to work, do some other stuff, you live, you come back, man, it's just not feeling like it did the other day. What is going on? You go and you mess with your router and you get everything going again. You're like, okay, but nobody wants to go through that process. Nobody wants to have to log into their router and be like, what is going on? Let me adjust this. Let me adjust that. Let me get everything where it feels good again. Let me play. Oh, feel it. Oh, nope. Okay, play. Back and forth. And then by the time you're all done, you're like, well, it's playing good, but now I've got to go. I've got other things to do. Well, this new quality of service system takes all of that pain and suffering away. It takes all of the guesswork of your quality of service away. You set up your congestion control and then you tell the system what you want to prioritize. You want to prioritize all games, all games. You want to prioritize a specific game, put it right up top. Then what's great about this new system is it just allows you to say, hey, I want all games or a specific game right up here above everything else. Kind of like Duma OS currently works. However, now you can also say, I want a specific service or a set of services. So I could say, ah, I actually want uh, streaming services next, all of them. Cause I use, you know, I use HBO and Netflix and Hulu and I flip through them all. I pay for one for a month or two, and then, you know, I'm, I'm done. And so I move on to the next one. So I just want to be able to optimize all those. So when I switch, I don't have to worry about it. Or if you're like, I just watch Netflix, that's it. I play games, I watch Netflix. So you say games, Netflix, done, that is it. What's great is anytime you load into a game, the new quality of service system says, hey, I recognize that game. That's Call of Duty. How much bandwidth does it need? All right. And it just locks it into place for you. You don't have to worry about it anymore. It optimizes your connection every time you load into a game. It looks at your network, it looks at what's going on, and it says, this is how much bandwidth this connection needs for this game to play optimally. Here you go, locks it into place, which of course, you don't have to go back into your router and adjust things and games feel significantly better. Originally, I bought a Duma OS router to improve my gaming experience, and they have but you kind of have to mess with that quality of service system every now and again. You know, maybe you get some new neighbors, maybe your internet package changes, maybe somebody, maybe a squirrel bites the line and things just go a little wonky. So you're having to adjust all that stuff constantly. Well, now the new quality of service, you don't have to worry about it. You load in, it takes care of it for you, which is fantastic. It relieves a significant headache when it comes to setting everything up. Now, why am I not showing this new system off? Well, it is actually in really early stages. They are continuing to work on it. There have been bugs and that kind of stuff. If you want to try it out, I will leave a link down below for you. You can ask to throw your hat in the ring, but do remember you may run into things that aren't working exactly right. There are some bugs currently. We're waiting for a new version at the time of recording this video. So, you know, things are moving along pretty quick and I'm very happy to report that they're looking really good. I have no idea when it's gonna release fully to the R2, but when it does, it is a significant change. It will make your day so much better. You'll hook everything up, you get everything optimized, prioritized, and you will notice immediately games are just so much smoother. Now, there is one other major overhaul that I know about that I want to share with you guys, and that is the geo filter. The geo filter has been kind of left behind for a long time now. Quality of service has gotten some love over the years, but the geo filter, mm, not so much. From what I understand, the plans are to merge the ping heat map and the geo filter together. I really like this idea. Now, when we ping our favorite games and we say, ah, we know where these servers are, we don't have to go back to the map and try to remember visually, like where was that exactly and draw it and then go back and forth. It'll just show up and you'll go, ah, draw around those servers or whatever. 
and then you're good to go. So that is a huge change I'm really excited for. Another one that they're not talking too much about, but there are some systems coming to hopefully help with some of those games where the geo filter doesn't currently work. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and list off those games. If you play one of those games, you know it, all right? So for those games, they are working on something that's supposed to fix that issue. Whether that ends up happening or not, I have no idea, but just the quality of service improvements are significant and put a huge smile on my face. Now, one last thing I want to mention is, hey, what about gameplay? Well, unfortunately, my computer is just too old these days to be able to record the way I'd like to and show decent gameplay without it being incredibly just bad looking. So uh, we're just not going to be able to show that off. However, if you guys would like, I do have a whole bunch of screenshots that I've taken just because I like to do it of some of my best games played when it comes to Call of Duty and stuff and my score. Um, I'm not a pro by any means, but I can melt people, especially with this new quality of service system. So if you want me to throw that in like, I don't know, another video or something, just kind of go over those kind of things, I will do that in the near future. Don't worry, everybody. I am not gone. I've just been busy with life. I've also started another channel where I talk about my life and the things that I've been through. I've been going through some stuff over the last couple months, so that's why I haven't been putting out anything, but I'm not gone. Channel's not dead. I'm still here. You guys rock, and I will see you again soon. Till the next time, as always, take it easy.